You know what day is? My home Mondays. <laughs> oh, I actually had to watch one of my other videos, my home Mondays, because I didn't know if I went morning, guys, my home Mondays, or oh, it's my. I had to. Actually... You know what day is? My home Mondays. Right. This is a Boxing Day special, Motorhome Mondays. Um, more so just to have a little chat with you. Um, I'm going to answer some questions in a minute. But have a little chat with you about Motorhome Mondays, about it coming back in the new year. Because um, yes, Motorhome Mondays is coming back in January. It will probably be... I'll tell you at the end. I'll do the questions. I'm going to hook you through. Right, first things first. It's Boxing Day. How was Christmas Day? How was it? Did Santa come? Did you get loads of presents? How was your Christmas dinner? Was it as good as this? Cue the dinner, baby. Today, Boxing Day, is where I'm going to have my Christmas di Christmas day with my family. My mum was working yesterday, uh, fam so the family done other bits and bobs. They were spread out and saw the other branches of the family, and then we're all coming together today on Boxing Day to have our Christmas day today <laughs> not that that helps you lot at all but you know i thought i'd let it throw it out there so yeah i'm gonna see all my uh, my nieces and nephews and that today and then uh, we're gonna have a, a good old time and uh yeah probably loads of kids screaming around loads of presents me being stupid playing with toys giving them loads of sweets because <laughs> that's what an uncle does and then pushes them straight back to the parents but yeah it's uh no, yesterday was great with friends. Uh, we had loads of food. It's really good time. It's what it's about, isn't it? Just, you know, having, hanging out, having some food. It's, it, you know, it is another day, but it's just nice to spend it with, with friends, family, and loved ones and have some food. Right. Let's do some questions. First question is, what do you want from Santa Claus? Uh, well, what do I want? Well, I mean, like I say, my Christmas day is today. Um, what do I want? I don't really want anything, to be fair. Um, I've got big plans for next year for myself of what I want. I want I want a new mile home, that's what I want. You know, don't think that'll come down the chimney. Um, yeah. But I'm I'm very lucky, I'm very fortunate, I've got what I want really. Um it's I I'm lucky. I'm I'm living a good life, I really am. And I'm I'm happy, I'm healthy, I've got good friends, I've got good family, and yeah. So I've got big plans for next year. Me and the team, Mevy and Tash, we're gonna take over the world, we're gonna do lots and lots of things. Uh, next question. I've got quite a few questions from my uh, previous video when I was on a campsite about me boiling eggs in an air fryer. So how long do you do the eggs in the air fryer uh, and do you put water in the air fryer? You don't put any water in the air fryer. You just put all the eggs in there, just lay them on the, on the bottom and then whack them in. And I've done them at 150 degrees for 12 minutes. There's a video which I'll put in the description here's the video <laughs> um i'll uh put that in the description below it, and it, it's like a three minute video and it shows you soft hard soft medium and hard boiled eggs in an air fryer and that's what i followed and it is absolutely perfect and and the soft boiled eggs i can attest to they are perfect beautiful cooked white pure runny in the middle oh right another question from being on the campsite was um does the £16 include all the electricity you used or do they charge you extra on what you've used? Now, that that's a caravan and motorhome club site. Um, you pay for a hookup and then that's included in your... in your um, What you use is included in, the, in, in what you pay. Now, I'm going to preface with don't take the piss <laughs> because I've heard stories before um, of people going onto sites and I've actually heard a story before of a little campsite that offers um hook up and they charge their tesla i'm not sure how you do that i think you can get like a, a you know like if you're away from home maybe that you can plug it into a normal house plug i'm assuming um but basically the, the that electricity dial just was spinning which then ruins it for everyone because then now that campsite is now looking at going right well you get so much electricity free or they're going to meter it and then you pay for your per unit at, at, at whatever cost it is so yeah by all means like i say i i charge everything i charge my entire motorhome home up if i've got battery banks i've charged them if i've got you know bits and bobs to do and i do them a cooking on electricity and all that that's fine you know that's within the remit but if you're going to try and charge a car that's a bit too much. Go Tesco's do that. Go pay your 
whatever you got to pay for that. Don't don't bring that onto a campsite and all that. Just yeah, don't <laughs> don't don't set up a welding shop on camp or something and try and use their electricity. Next question: How have you been dealing with the cold snap? Any problems? No, no problems. Um, solar has been a bit of a pain but I, I, I addressed that in a previous video I went to the site I mean I couldn't get the snow off my panels that easy but no I've been to be brutally honest my diesel heater has been flat out you know I turn it off every now and again because just to let it have a rest but I've just been keeping it a nice consistent use um, diesel I know diesel is expensive I'm not saying that and I'm not saying just burn it willy nilly but uh, <laughs> willy nilly it's so much easier to come by than LPG. Uh, I went to go fill up LPG just before uh, uh, on Christmas Eve actually, and there was a that dreaded that dreaded out of view order yellow sign on, on the on the on the nozzle, which is just like damn it. I, I keep my pipe uh, my grey pipe open um, in this. I mean, I keep it open all the time. I don't really throw anything down there that's gonna kill anyone um and a few of you might jump in the comments and go that's not right <laughs> but i'm not gonna be outside your house and i'm not gonna throw water outside your house um you know i know where i'm pouring water i know where i'm not uh, and again it's, it's it's no worse than any oil that comes off a car drips onto the road because i'm just using washing up liquid basically um so i keep them open and if i'm gonna pour anything down them in this kind of weather i'll pour some hot water down first just to you know, make sure the lines are uh, open, and if I, I will stick my head out and make sure I can see it coming out before I put anything else down there. Because if it has frozen for any reason, then I'm not going to pour any more down. I'll just, you know, uh, you know, throw it in a bush or something, or um, hold the water where I need, or you know, just depends on what I'm doing. Um, but I haven't had any lines uh, freeze or anything like that. Touch wood, um, no, no problems. Uh, I've just been keeping them at home warm. Like I say, the diesel heater has been a, it's been a lifesaver. It's on now. It's nice and toasty. Um, yeah, I flipping love the diesel heater. Seriously, apart from like the, the whole lithium and solar system, the diesel heater comes into its own in winter. It really is nice and toasty. I mean, I keep mine, I don't know how true the temperatures are, but I keep mine at about 14 because obviously I go up in the bunk but that keeps it nice and nice and warm throughout. And I've got my thick socks, so I'm, I'm toasty, I'm lovely. Next question is, what is that ring on your finger? Like this, it isn't a wedding ring, and I answered that in, a, in another video, but as you can see there, it's got lots of technology inside. That is called an aura ring. Um, now this isn't sponsored, this isn't thingy, they don't have an affiliate program or anything like that. Um, I think I've got a code where if some people use it then I can get a, uh, extend my membership because it is a membership system as well um, to get extra data. But basically it tracks my heart rate, it tracks my oxygen levels in my blood. It's like your Apple Watch or your Fitbit or something like that but just in, in a ring because my skin doesn't react well to watches. I don't know why. So I wanted something to be able to track my sleep data. I wanted to be able to track my heart rate and track everything. Um, and along with my phone, with my iPhone, um, this obviously when I'm walking around, it tracks my steps. So then this marries up to this and it's all in the app and it shows you loads of data and everything. Um, so far it's working out really well. It's light as anything. You can't feel it. The reason it's on that finger, they say it's got to be on your non-dominant hand which is my left hand and preferably your first or, or middle finger your index finger or your middle finger um but <laughs> this is the biggest ring they do um they send you a sizing kit and then you, you you measure your finger it doesn't fit there and it doesn't fit there so the next best place is is there um yeah so that's that but it's really good I, i'm liking it so far i've had it a couple of months um and yeah, it works well. One thing I will tell you, if if anyone is thinking of ordering one, I think they come from uh, Sweet. I can't remember where they come from. And customs, they do charge you a customs charge. I think it cost me about 60 quid, a customs entry fee, um, which was really a little shock and a really lovely call to have from DPD, I think it was. Hey, by the way, you've got a parcel coming and you owe us £64 <laughs> before we're going to release it. <laughs> Thank you. Next question. Would you consider traveling to Ireland in your van and in your motorhome and driving around and exploring our great country? Yes, yes, hell yes. I, what, once I am 
free to roam where I want and doing the, the whole full-time thing, exploring the world, exploring everything and that and documenting a lot of it, there is nowhere I don't want to go. I want to just go anywhere and everywhere. I want to head up to Scotland for a couple of months. Then I, I'd head over to Ireland. I want to do Wales. There is nowhere I don't want to go. I mean, people say, oh, you're just going to do Europe. You're just going to do France or thing. I want to drive around the whole freaking world. Maybe I'd go over there, buy a cheap RV over there and then drive it around. I want to travel everywhere and i want to try i want to try all the foods i want to try have a look at all the locations and the beautiful places explore the culture and do some fishing yeah and just have a good freaking time this was a question on a, a video i done a while back i think it was in asda when i done asda park up he put you mentioned clamps fines and the dreaded knock on the door as you're uh urban how many times a year it eat how many times a year of each, etc. Do you, on average, receive of each of them, bearing in mind you know what you're doing? Right, so I've never had a fine, a clamp, or the knock. I think I had a knock once, but I didn't get to the door in time, so I don't know what they wanted. Um, I've had another knock in a little industrial estate from a, a Spanish lorry driver to ask me to move up. Um, I did get a fine from a, I think it was Reading Services, because I overstayed. <laughs> so I, I pulled over and I think I overstayed by like 15 minutes. I think you get three hours. And I was too early to go to something, so I pulled in, thought I'd have something to eat and just chill on the sofa and whatever, and I think I had a nap. And then when I pulled out there, I didn't even put two and two together and then <laughs> my mum called me saying you've got a letter <laughs> I was like oh okay open it up it's like oh it's a fine I was like damn it you know so that's the only place that I've actually got a fine I haven't had a fine for parking anywhere stupid or anything like that my rule is you know park legal park polite and if there's anything around you like rubbish and that clean that up make it look respectable um, like you're, you know, you're helping out the community and you're helping out the area. You're not a burden on the area, and don't burn your park outs out. You know, don't stay there for three days, four days, five days, and don't come back the next day, the next day, the next day. You know, try and vary it up a little bit. You know, and uh, you should be all right. So, right, that is this. The questions for this episode. Now, uh, quick thing about Motorhome Mondays. Motorhome Mondays is coming back in January. Not exact on the date yet. Um, I'm looking to bring it back probably every two weeks. Now, I know some of you aren't going to like that, but we're going to be putting more effort into it. I say more effort as in we're going to be doing more of a, uh, more clips into the into the show. And we're going to call it a show. I want to include some other, uh, other YouTubers, so maybe uh, a maintenance tip of the week, a, a recipe of the week, um, pet tip of the week, you know, traveling with cats, traveling with dogs, um, European trip of the, uh, European tip of the week or something like that you know little segments from different people and from yourselves there's going to be uh i want to i want to do like a subscriber section a viewer section so if you've got a tip um i'd love you to record your tip um so i not teaching anyone to suck eggs but if you are going to uh, and you do want to share something with us and you want to send it in then um which we will I don't know how we're going to figure that one out, how we're going to send it all in, but I'll, I'll probably set up a, uh, a Dropbox and then, or a, or a drive or something where people can send everything in um, or or something like that. And I'll put that in the description. Um, but basically, if you are going to do something and you're going to just use your phone, just hold it like that way, not not that way, not portrait, landscape, and then just record yourself, you know, put it on the on the kitchen side, put it on the on the side of your van, wherever you're going to do it. Put it stable. Talk to the camera, preferably the back camera, because um, that's always the better camera. And then, yeah, tell us what you've got, your, your hints, your tips, your travel tips, your maintenance tips, your modifications. We'd love to know all of that because then it gets you guys involved. And I'm sure I'm going to have some stickers to give away for people that get involved. I want to do some merch giveaways. Um yeah, and I also want to know what you want to see in the new Motorhome Mondays. Now, going forward, if we're only doing it every couple of weeks, it gives us a bit of time to, to build build things. Um, I've got I've already got some content in the bank from like uh, when I was interviewing in summer. I was interviewing loads of full timers, so I've asked them loads of questions. So we're going to have like a full timer question of the week kind of thing and get their real raw answers. Um, I've interviewed people around the NEC, so I've got some of that footage. But I want to know what you want. So if there's a segment that you think would work really well, or you want to know something, it might not be every week, uh, every. Two, every every two weeks so the cooking tip might be 
you know, once a month, um, or the pet tip might be once a month, something like that. But if there's a segment that you really want to see and, you know, you think would work great, then reach out, drop it in the comments below. I want the comments full. I want them bursting at the seams with all your ideas. And then we're going to put it together, me, Mevy and Tash, we're going to put it together, plus other YouTubers and other people in the community, we're going to get it all together and we're going to make Motor Home Mondays freaking awesome. And, uh, yeah, hopefully... It will really, really work. It's going to be a fluid thing, so it's nothing set in stone. Some things might work, some things might not. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased for it to uh, to to try it, try it this way and make it more of a more of an interactive, more of a show, more of a uh, uh, yeah, more of something something good, something yeah. I'll catch you guys in the new year with a new Motorhome Mondays. Hey, we're back! Ha <laughs> ha!